Sean is still asleep. It's raining today, so he can't go to work. And I got up early, had some coffee, and I'm just trying to kill time before I have an air tasker job. Um, I bought these sort of antique photo frames. There's three matching ones, all different sizes. I bought them at the market on the weekend, and I really want to put them up, but I cannot for the life of me figure out where I want to put them. I think I want them like either in the dining room or the lounge room. I don't know. We'll figure it out. They don't have any photos in them at the moment. I have no idea what pictures I'm going to put in there. I wish I had some of those like super creepy old tiny family photos. I just really want to get them hung on the wall because I think they're so pretty. So we're going to continue doing projects that aren't really finished but just look cute because I'm a woman and we can't wait for anything. shit on my walls and thumbtacks because they make the tiniest little holes and in the walls and if your walls are white like mine are you can fill the holes in with white out and it's not very obvious at all they hold surprisingly decent weight like i've got a lot of things in this house that are held up by two dollar thumbtacks they're done and they're all up I've been thinking about what I want to put in them and I think it would be kind of cool if I could get like one picture that's bigger than what they are. I think that could look really cool if it was all the one picture but just different aspects of the one picture.
Good morning. All right, here's where we are at vis-a-vis -vis the curtain dilemma. I mentioned it in a couple of videos ago that I needed to fix this bay window curtain here because it was broken and I thought it was just gonna be this one piece that had kind of snapped. Yeah, that's a bit broken. Upon further investigation, it turns out whoever put the rope in this curtain before when they were changed over to new curtains put it in the wrong way and the rope had also broken so this one here is fine but I'm gonna have to go to the hardware store and buy a new rope for this one Okay, the first two tie packs are installed. This, I don't know if you guys can see this, but the angles they sit on are a little bit different just because of the type of, like the shape of the wall next to each of them. I think I'm also just gonna buy some tassel tie backs. So I have the option of having them like fully pulled back like this or just kind of straighter down the side. Okay, all of the curtain holdbacks are in. Some of them were a bitch. A couple of the screws really did not want to be in the wall. I don't really know what to do with myself for the next hour. I got up way too early. I slept so poorly last night. I slept so poorly that when I did sleep, I had a dream that I couldn't sleep. My brain just feels fried, but I mean, I, that's that's my fault. I had coffee at 6.30 last night after waking up from a nap, so. There's no one to blame but me. Isn't that right, Shamie? Yes, mom, you're an idiot. The ant tasker job is done. Now I get to go home. Well, go to Bunnings. I need to get that cord stuff for the curtain to try and fix that up. And then we get to go home and hopefully have fixed curtains very soon. Alright, we have line cord. I went to the hardware store and I got this like kind of nice gold colour because I feel like it'll match these pretty well and just look a little bit nicer than like stark white that's just gonna get dirty. So we're gonna put it in this one and if I've got enough left over I may take those curtains apart and put it in those curtains as well. You can have Spidey. Woo! Yes! Oh! silence with my weighty and dropped down beside the fire he shed his horns thankfully i felt cold water like this goes from which she can no longer hurt us a place where she will be dead i paused nothing disastrous was about to befall us or maybe it already he had had to see my daughter grow into a woman had to come back to my city Okay, theoretically, this should be done. Theoretically. Volus and Marina exchanged a glance I could not read, and my hands started to shake on her. But I didn't care. My friend was in my arms. Good morning. I've had coffee, and I've been pondering what to do today. The weather's pretty chilly, so there's not a whole lot to do. Most of the stuff I've been wanting to get done lately has been outside, but I don't really feel like going out there when it's this cold so I think I'm gonna try and find some jobs to do inside instead Sean has some stuff in his office that used to be in our last house was on the walls and he hasn't gotten around to putting any of it up yet so I was thinking today maybe I could put some of that stuff up for him it's a nice thing for him to come home to if anyone 
who has seen the videos has wondered why I have patches of shitty tattoos on my arms and they're all faded and um, that kind of thing. I've been getting tattoo removal for the past year. Getting pretty much all the tattoos on my arms taken off. I got a lot of tattoos in my early 20s that were small or shitty um, or you know I chose artists because they had availability and not because of their talent and I don't know I just don't I don't want them anymore I don't regret getting them because they served their purpose at the time of making me happy and making me feel more comfortable in my body now that I'm in my late 20s they just don't hold anything for me anymore and they've kind of gotten to the point where it's not embarrassment that I feel but I just they, they're starting to make me feel less comfortable in my body. I kind of want my tattoos to be something that are mostly optional if they get seen. I do have quite a lot of tattoos on my legs, my torso and my back. I'm kind of at that age now where, you know, I want to be able to wear a nice dress and not have tattoos showing if I don't want tattoos showing. It's, it's going to be a process yet. The ones on my shoulders I think are going to take the most time, but they have also dipped out quite a bit there's like full patches that are missing there's patches that have faded you can see here like the lines are starting to completely go away but you'll get to see the progression of watching my tattoos slowly get more and more shitty until they're completely gone i think we should go and do sean's office and i need to fetch my ipad so we got some music to listen to
to make some laundry liquid because I'm almost out. And maybe have a glass of wine because I'm tempted to have coffee but after the sleep I had the other day, I don't want to do that again. I just sipped my wine and it did not taste right. I think it's been sitting there for a few days too long. So my options are sour beer, Walder, or pee. Maybe I'll have a beer. Let's go get a beer. o'clock so it is officially time to go to bed. I watched a movie and now I'm going to listen to some of my audiobook and sleep this day off. Good night, I'll see you in the next one.